So I'm going to just sit and put my feet up for a while. I showered. Too much pictures of me. I'm clean. So I can use them. And um, it looks like I'm very conscientious of that kind of stuff. And then I won't have to shower for like the next couple days and sleep. What should we do more stuff? I'm getting closer and closer. It's getting through more and more paperwork and books and trying on a bunch of clothes. That's always discouraging when you think you've lost a bunch of weight and you realize you're no longer in kickboxing shape because you don't do that every day. So no matter what you do, you're going to be disappointed with yourself um, for getting so out of shape and dating fat people who don't care because you think they'll just please you and instead they break up with you and they talk real loud on the phone upstairs to another girl who you can tell by her voice is not nearly as hot as you while you're trying to smoke and take selfies. That's fucking annoying in life. I don't know what I exactly just said. I just need to vent there. I'm really pissed about this. You know, someone pursues you and won't leave you alone and they want to take you out and show you things. Instead, they end up feeding you at diners and you stuff your face because you haven't, you know, not been hungry for years and you figure he's going to love you no matter what based on the way he looks. And then he breaks up with you and tells you to lose 20 pounds and talks on the phone upstairs to somebody you can tell is not even as close as attractive as you. So what do you do in a situation like that? You study more and more and more. Really. Yeah. More rockets, more science, more math, more business, more um, things that can help me get myself the fuck out of here when I want to, um, but not because I'm angry and get kicked out, or not because I'm, um, you know, disappointed in the area, but because I'm smoking hot now and I want to move to a new area where there's a lot of hot dick. And this area is all just like families. And um, I thought, you know, I'll settle for the one single guy that lives right upstairs. And that'll be fun because he would never, you know, have any problems with me. Or ask me to change, even if I'm not my optimal self. I won't have to even really try. I'll just be loved and adored. And then I told him, hey, our waitress had had... Um, a, a sexual encounter with me the year before. And she, he's like, isn't she really young for you? I was like, what? And, and she won't even acknowledge him. She's like, hi. <laughs> I was like, hey, yeah, quit trying to run me off the sidewalk. I, I, I didn't know what was going on, but now I know see you. Do you remember me? She, oh, yeah. Oh. He's like, I was like, that's judgmental. And that's not coming from you. That's supposed to be hot to a guy, no matter what. And the fact that it's not, and there's magazines being developed, girls on the phone upstairs, tells me something. You're not 100% available because you wouldn't judge me and make me feel bad about myself unless what? You had to report to somebody else who's jealous of me, right? Right, you'd encourage me to do whatever I wanted. And you certainly wouldn't be like, isn't she too young for you? You'd be like, who is the freak all over you? I'm like, this girl from this video, from this guy in a video that I fucked, that was stalking me and I thought it was him and they were having a thing and then I remembered I had met her in New York City and um, I felt really bad about accusing him of it but I never went back and explained why because I am the ultimate player I can't believe he's on the phone with somebody upstairs she's not nearly as hot as me she's too young for you she's too pretty for you she's too pretty for me to imagine the two of you going down on each other what the fuck motherfucker